Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip, and what we have for sale here today is a Caterpillar 246C, the two-speed uh, enclosed cap uh, skid steer. We're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and we'll run it in the third. Price on a new machine like this these days is probably about $65,000, equipped the way it is with an enclosed cab. This machine uh, has got 1,382 hours on it. As far as manufacturers go, CAT's number one in the world of heavy construction, mining, and utility equipment. Um, this machine weighs 7,400 pounds. The widest point are these tires right here at five foot eight inches. The buckets that we've got for them, for this machine, are about six foot one inches. So we've got different buckets. We'll get into that here in a little bit. The highest point is the top of that cab at seven feet. The transportation length varies depending on what size bucket you put, but it's anywhere from 12 foot two inches to 12 foot six inches from the rear end of the counterweight to the front of the bucket. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine is what we consider in the industry a DORF machine, D-O-R-F. What that acronym stands for is a dealer-owned rental fleet machine. So what does that mean? That means that this machine was, we bought it as a dealer, and whoever buys it from us will technically be the original owners of this machine because um, they kept it in their rental fleet. and. Uh, the other good thing about the uh, dealer-owned rental fleet machines is that uh, they're actually over-maintained. These machines, the average rental on a machine like this is maybe about a week long. So if this machine was within 40, 50 hours of its next service, that dealer uh, went ahead and serviced the machine in its entirety. Uh, the machines that we bought from this particular dealer, they've all been great machines. We're happy with them. And it should be said that before I buy any machine, my mechanics uh, thoroughly inspect the machine. And uh, before I write a check for a machine, I go out and I inspect it as well. Um, as far as uh, options go, as you can see, this machine has got an enclosed cab. It's got a coupler. It's got a coupler that disconnects in the cab. Go ahead and show them that. Okay. Uh, that little red button on the far right is the uh, automatic quick coupler on the machine. Um, oh, it's got a pattern control uh, change valve so you can go from uh, case to uh, ISO controls. Uh, this machine has got an AC, it blows ice cold. I mean, you can barely, uh, if you turn that thing up, even on a hot day like today, it's 85 degrees, you gotta turn it down because it's, it's got an excellent air conditioner and heater. They both work. Um, I did say the auxiliary had, it's also got auxiliary hydraulics. And then this port here is for some kind of, uh, I don't know if that's a power port or what that is, but anyway. This machine is powered by a, uh, a 3044C uh, DIT CAT engine. That's a bulletproof engine. Very common within the CAT uh, lineup. It's got a 26 gallon tank, which will run you 12 to 16 hours, depending on your ap uh, application. All the fluid levels on this machine are where they should be. This machine is mechanically sound. There's no leaks, absolutely no leaks. Everything on it works. Like I said, it's got a two-speed uh, transmission. That works just fine, no problems there. You know, the other thing that I should mention is that this, thing, this machine has got some surface rust. We're in Dallas, Texas, so we don't get any snow. There's no kind of snow removal or anything like that. You know, we, we, uh, this rust is not pervasive in any way, shape, or form. It's a pretty much a rust free machine. Um, inherently, with all 
skid steers, they're four wheel drive. This machine is four wheel drive. You can see the tires are probably about 25%. I might be a little generous. They're 12 by 16.5 tires. They all match. The hydraulics are strong on this machine. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in the work equipment. All of the pins and the bushings on this machine are tight. You can see that this, this bucket here is actually a brand new bucket. We'll show you the other buckets we have for it. You get your choice of buckets when you buy the machine. This particular bucket here, this bucket is too large for the machine. It'd be, probably be good for snow removal or something like that. But uh, this bucket width is six foot one inch. It's two foot three inches tall. And it's three foot five inches uh, in length. It's probably about a half yard bucket, which is probably a little too big for this machine unless you're doing light material like mulch or whatnot. Um, the breakout force on this loader is 7,300 pounds. The lifting capacity is uh, 4,300 pounds, and the lifting capacity of this loader is limited by the by the tip load, which simply stated the hydraulics on this machine are so powerful that the machine will actually tip forward before the hydraulics give out. So the lifting capacity is limited by the weight of the unit or at the fulcrum, you know, going backwards. So it's 4,300 pounds. And the operating uh, weight is half of the tip load. So in this, what they call the operating weight in the industry is 2,150 pounds. We're gonna run it in the next clip. Okay, so here's the inside of the cab. Here's all of your controls, like for your auxiliary hydraulics, your lights. Um, this is your disconnect for your coupler. This is your uh, bucket uh, float, I think. Uh, this is your pattern control. You've got to s select which pattern uh, control you want before you uh, before the machine goes. It's your wiper control, door, throttle control. There's your, I don't know if you can see your foot pedal control right there. This is your, uh, I think this is raise and lowering of the bucket. I'm not sure. There's your control pattern right there. And you've got a switch on the bottom for breakout force. There's your window. There's your air conditioner control. Your radio back here. There's your seat. The inside of the cab. It's a pretty roomy cab, actually. Okay, so this is the way you do the quick coupler here. You press this thing down.
Okay, again, you, there's different buckets that we've got for this machine. You can have one, two, three, or whatever, and we've got a set of forks. So these buckets, this bucket here is six foot one inches. It's one and an eight, one and uh, eight inches tall, and it's two feet, two feet deep. When you cut. This bucket is pretty much the same measurement. It's six foot one wide, uh, six foot or one foot eight inches tall, and two foot deep. Only difference is it's got a tooth bar. Okay, and these are the forks here. So these are about three and a half, four foot tines, I guess. So uh, if you need a set of forks, we got forks for it too.